Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on radio or not. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So, not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off, and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottlenecks. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they are pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, I want to mention when you launch your game, you have two uh, different options with the API, DirectX 11 or 12. The most optimized one is the DirectX 12. The only case that you should use uh, DirectX 11 or test it is if you have like a very old computer, seven, eight, nine years old. Uh, sometimes your GPU uh, have been made for DirectX 11 and sometimes it can be better for your FPS. So definitely test it if you have a very old computer. After that, the screen mode. I recommend to go with full screen. Don't use any other mode that's causing some random stuttering. Resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So in my case, it's 1440p. Resolution scale, you don't want to touch it. Stay at 100%. So no downscale, no upscale. We're going to use some other technique in the advanced one. Aspect ratio, make sure that you're playing native. Field of view, I'm just playing at 90. It's the default one. If you increase it, you're going to lose some FPS. And also, they're saying it can cause virtual uh, artifact visual sorry artifact and uh, that's pretty much it so now let's go to advance first of all texture quality if you have six gig and more of vram on your gpu go with epic four gig i three gig medium and less than three gig go with low shadow quality i recommend to go with medium uh you, you're gonna have if you compare epic to a medium you can expect a nice 16 percent boost in your fps um if you go to low you will see that the game looks very flat so that's why i recommend to go with medium but if you're playing i don't know with an integrated gpu on your laptop probably you will need to run it at low for shadow post process quality go with low a nice uh, eight percent boost over there and also uh, you will see that the game is less blurry with it without it sorry uh, Anti-aliasing, I recommend to go low, less blurriness, but honestly, if you use the LSS or FSR, it will not necessarily uh, run in the background, so you will run the upscaling technique. VFX quality, go with medium, you can expect 5% boost in your FPS. And the last one is view distance, it's kind of important in this game, so I recommend to go with I, but if you're very limited with your computer, definitely go with medium. For the frame limit, limit I just disabled. Uh, if you have thermal issue, make sure that you just lock your FPS with the amount of hertz of your monitor. So for an example, you're playing on a laptop, you can run 75 FPS, uh, but you have a 60 hertz monitor. Just go with 60 uh, FPS. Uh, it's not because you're running 75 that, yes, your input lag will be a little bit better, but sometimes you're going to start stuttering because uh, you have some thermal issue with your CPU or GPU in your laptop. So really important to look at this. Motion blur, I recommend to go disable, less blurry when you're going to play the game. V-Sync, I'm not using it, less input lag. I recommend also other options like G-Sync and FreeSync if it's available to you and it's compatible with your monitor, definitely you can test that. Bounce light, I recommend to go with disabled, you can expect 4% boost in your FPS. For the roll DK, I recommend to go with enable, but just stay at 50%, you will see that it helps a lot with your FPS and stabilize your game. Up to one, I recommend to go with disable. And after that, you have two different upscale techniques. You have to prioritize the LSS. So if you have an RTX card, 
go with quality and the LSS, you can expect 18 to 20% boost in your FPS. I'm not a huge fan of balance performance mode. Honestly, the game looks very blurry, so definitely go with quality. And if you have the FSR1, just go with quality again. You can expect 14% boost. And uh, yeah, again, same thing with FSR. Don't go balance or performance. The game looks too blurry with it. Uh, the last one is NVIDIA Reflex. Make sure this one is enabled if it's available to you. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my ready or not guide. If you have any question about it, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.